Hello everyone, uh, we are going to solve the problem divide array into arrays with a maximum difference from the weekly contest 376. So first we will understand the problem statement. Uh, then we will try to see the intuition and we will see the most optimized way to solve the problem. So first you are given an integer array numbers of size n and a positive integer k. You will give in numbers and a positive integer k. We need to divide the array into one or more arrays of size 3. Only the size 3. A, B, C. Only size 3. Then E, F, G. With only size 3, we can divide into one or more arrays. Each element of num should be exactly in one subarray. Every element. If A is there, then A should be present only in the one subarray. It should not repeat in other subarrays. The difference between any two elements in one subarray is less than or equals to k. So if you see, we have three elements. The difference between any of the two elements should be less than or equals to k. That is my next condition. We need to return a 2D array containing all the arrays if it is possible to satisfy the condition. <coughs> now we need to return the all the subarrays which satisfy this condition. Okay, if you observe it, he is saying that there will be multiple answers. We can return any of them. Okay, we understood the question clearly. Now we need the size with only three elements. Only three elements are matter. That's why in the constraints we will mention. You see in the constraints, he is saying that n is a multiple of three. Okay, that is satisfied. Now, if you observe here, uh, with this scenario, he is taking 1, 1, 3. Now, you can see here the difference is 2, maximum difference. Here it is 2 and here it is 2. Yeah, that's valid point. Now, now we want size with 3, A, B, C. We want 3 elements. The 3 elements should be very close to each other. Then only our condition will get satisfied. So we want to make these elements as close as possible. If you want to make them as close as possible, first thing comes into mind is the sorting. So if you see here, we have these elements, we will sort it. Now let's try with sorting. If sorting is not working out, we will go with some other approaches. Here if you sort 1, 1, 3 and we have 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9. 7, 8 and 9. We have 3 twice. Sorry. Now we have sorted it. Now if you are taking now if you are taking the first element first element then which is very optimal to take I can take this and this. This is very optimal right. If you are taking this element you can't go and take these two elements. This is my optimal way. Then I will check whether this is satisfying my the second condition or not. To check the, uh, to check the condition here we have first element and the last element and which are sorted. We will check both this. If this difference is greater than k, then that means it is not valid. If it less than or equals to k, it is valid. We will check this. With k is equals to 2, here my it is 2. So it is a valid. Then we will go with 3. Then we will take 3, 4, 5. Because this is the most optimal way. If you are taking 3 and if you are going with 7, then this is not the optimal way. So this we are taking this and here my difference is 2 and this is satisfied my condition. 3, 4, 5. Then we are going with 7, 8, 9. This satisfies my condition. If you see here, we can see this input. If you sort 1, 2, 3, 3 and we have 7. 3, 3, sorry. Now if you see, we have 1, 2, 3 which is satisfying my condition. But if you come here, 3, 3, 7. 7 minus 3 which is 4 which is failing it. So we are returning the empty subarray. So I think you have got it. So our main intention is to make them as much close as possible. So let's uh, dive into the coding part. So I will try like uh, so try by yourself. You got the intuition. Try to code by yourself. So if you aren't able to code then you can come and see the coding part. Now we will see the coding. Now we have declared the vector of vector int answer and we have sorted it. After sorting, we are taking the three pair. We are taking the three pair and we are iterating till n by 3. Suppose my n is 9, 
n by 3 which is 2 so 3 times will iterate and a is equals to i into 3 plus 0 if you are good in maths you can understand it very easily i into 3 plus 0 i into 3 plus 1 we are taking 0 1 2 then we are taking 3 4 5 then 6 7 and 8 in this way we are taking it now after taking that we are checking c minus a less than or equals to k if it is less than or equals to k we are pushing into the t which is my temporary vector and then i am pushing into my answer vector if this condition is failing then directly i am clearing the all the vector i am answer i am clearing it and then i am returning or else i am returning my answer so here my time complexity will be order of n into log n because we are using the sorting part and my space which will be all we are storing in the answer how many elements we are storing total n elements we are storing so it will be order of n i hope you understood the intuition part so if you understood it please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so we will meet you in the next video thank you